Welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Let us observe this totally unedited uh, real time phaco surgery under topical anesthesia. This is a cataract with grade 4 nuclear sclerosis. The main incision is being done with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. The eyeball is supported by a cotton tipped Johnson bud. This is phenocaine which contains phenylephrine, tropicamide and lignocaine. The antechamber is then filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. There is enough clarity to do orexis without staining. So staining with tripan blue dye is not required. A side port is made on the left side of the main incision with a lens tip knife. And now capsulorexis is done with the help of uh, utrita forceps. The forceps pierces the center of the capsule, a capsular tag is raised, this capsular tag is guided anticlockwise all around to get an adequate sized rexis of about 5.25 millimeter. Hydro dissection is done with a 27 gauze cannula and BSS. Uh, the nucleus is tapped so that the fluid comes out anteriorly along the equator. And now is the time to divide the nucleus into some fragments. The technique that I have mustered is known as the submarine chop technique where the phaco tip moves through the substance of the nucleus as a submarine moves through water. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed, the hand piece is turned to make the bevel off and now the tip is buried in the substance of the nucleus it goes through the nucleus towards the opposite equator. It goes through a deeper plane and the endonucleus is cracked and we have got a very nice crack. We come to the other side, do one or two sculpts, hold on side and see the nucleus has been divided into two hemonuclei. And this heminucleus is subdivided into two fragments. We come to the other heminucleus and divide this heminucleus also into two fragments. So we have got four fragments out of this hard nucleus. And now each fragment is emulsified each fragment is subdivided into smaller pieces. I start at the apex and it is emulsified easily. Rotate, see, I start from the apex and I detach the epinucleus. Now it is to protect the posterior capsule like this. Detach, emulsify the nucleus, keep the epinucleus and at last the epinucleus is emulsified going to lower vacuum. Initially the vacuum is 480 millimeter of mercury, power is 80 percent, flow rate is 48 and during emulsification of the last portion of the nucleus and epinucleus, vacuum is 400, flow rate is 40 and ultrasonic energy is very less, maybe about 50 percent. Cortical cleanup has been done with the 23G Simco cannula and now this is polishing of the posterior capsule by the irrigating cannula.
in this case we have selected a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal aspheric intraocular lens from Apasami Associates. This is known as galaxy fold or super phobe intraocular lens. It is a beautiful lens, no financial interest, but many thousands and thousands of ophthalmologists of India are grateful to Apasami Associates for bringing the equipments at affordable price. And this is the picture now, the lens is in the bag. The optics of the lens is covered all around by the Rexus margin. The side port is closed by corneal stromal hydration. The main port has been constructed in such a way that it will not require any hydration. And here goes the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The anterior chamber is nicely formed and then a cotton dipped Janssen bard is taken and integrity of the wounds are checked. There should not be any leakage from any site and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. It will encourage you to try submarine job. This is a very good technique since the tip of the phaco needle is within the substance of the nucleus. Whatever amount of ultrasonic energy you apply within the substance of the nucleus, it does not come near the cornea and the cornea remains crystal clear next day.